Problem five, it says triangle STR is similar to XYZ. So I'm going to draw that out first. I'm going to say, okay, I got this STR, and it's similar to this guy who's maybe bigger, maybe smaller, I don't know. But I'm going to do it X. Since S and X correspond, I'm going to draw them in the same spots. T and Y, so I'm going to put the Y right here, and Z corresponds to the R. See, R, Z, so here's R in the right. So I'm going to put Z right here, so I know those all match up. And these are similar. One's larger than the other. One's either expanded or contracted. We don't know which. Doesn't matter. If the perimeter of STR, STR, so the distance around that guy, put it inside here, is 38. And XY, well here's XY is 6, so I make that marking. Now remember, this XY corresponds to that ST side. Well, look, it says ST is 12. It says, well, what's the perimeter around this guy? Well, we have all we need. We know 6 corresponds to the 12, so I'm going to write them and say, hey, 6 corresponds to the 12 as the perimeter of this guy, which we don't know, I'm going to use P, corresponds to that guy's perimeter, which it told us was 38. I can easily see 6 to 12, that's 1 to 2, so for every 1 inch this guy has, this guy's side lengths are twice as big. So this perimeter is 38, in my head I can see that's 19. Do you see that? because 19 doubled is 38, 6 doubled is 12. Well, let's say we don't see that. We could sit here and multiply it, get 12 times P is equal to, let's see, 8 and 6 is 48, carry your 4, see the old school, carry the 4, 18 and 4 is 22. Now divide by 12, guess what you're going to get? 19. So the perimeter will be 19 for this guy, it's going to be half as much because basically for every one inch this guy's side had, this guy was twice as much. We doubled him up. He was much larger. Or we started with him and shrunk him by half as much. Either way you want to look at it, it's all the same. So problem five, the perimeter of triangle XYZ is 19.